Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts Unchained Key. Now, um, it is, it's a little after 9 p.m. on uh, November the 30th, the last day of the month, guys, last day of the month. Uh, and as you all know, the last day of the month means um, a couple of things come to, the end, come, come to an end, most specifically Colosseum. And check out what we got. Boom. Welcome. In a new month with a December Colosseum, earn Pegasus Knight avatar parts, skills, and more starting tonight at 12. Um, so it's kind of cool. I mean, it, the, the outfit looks really cool, but... I'm very interested in the skills and more part. Um, I probably won't be. I probably won't be uh, uh, up because actually I've been streaming today. We've been streaming today since, goodness gracious, we've been streaming a very long time today. Um, I'm getting. I'm getting close to about eight hours of streaming today. Um, so I'm probably not going to stay up all night uh, to see exactly what happens here. But um, what could be coming, guys? As you all know, the rewards in Colosseum are very interesting. Um, as you all know, too, some skills are introduced in well, most most skills are introduced in the Colosseum, as well as other things. So let's talk about let's talk about the let's talk about the elephant in the room. Actually, it's more it's more of a it's more of a brontosaurus in the room by now, or or you know. King Kong proportion size uh, thing. Um, Mickey and Brooms. Yes. It's very possible that Mickey and Brooms may be introduced in the Coliseum. Do I think they're going to do it? I honestly don't know. Um, I do honestly believe that if, if, they, if they wanted to introduce it, if they wanted to introduce it, as a gradual thing then yes um they could put them into the coliseum that that would mean that we would just be looking at the mickey and brooms for over a month before we got them now there's something else too if they put mickey and brooms in the coliseum boards that means that a we will not get them for a whole month b it means that they can they get even a little more time to hold back on it because as you all know what happens is that usually okay let's just say mickey and rooms are at night okay so at the end of the month someone maybe a people someone will get five enough to make one enough to make one one fantasia b um if i was square enix that's what i would do um, if I was Square Enix, this is how I would release them. Because if I release them at the very end of, if I release them in the Coliseum boards, that means I don't have to release them in any other way. It's just like, hey, they're coming. You gotta wait till the end of the month to get your one Mickey and Room, okay? And then, then what? They don't have to release anymore, you know? Uh, so personally. I believe if Square Enix wants to make people, it wants to like excite people about the game, if they want to encourage people to continue spending money, this is probably a perfect way for them to release them. Now, this is not the most fair or the way that I want to see it released. I would like to see them released just just in the game, in a in in, in, a, in a quest. I would like them released in a quest where everyone is can can access one two three five of them i would like to see them uh or even you know even if you even if you did it in a way where you did like a broom challenge where you had to and, and free to play players could do it where you had to do you know every day of the week you got one broom okay one broom monday tuesday wednesday thursday and friday um then at the end of the month, you could have four Mickey and Brooms, and that would be that would be a great way for them to introduce Mickey and Brooms, give it to us, um, but at the same time control it because then in a month you would have four, 
you'd have four orbs or four chances to reroll guilt or whatever. Um, pull a legendary medal. You'd have to wait a month and a half before you could guilt that medal. Uh, a lot of stuff can happen in this car, in this game, in, the, in in a month and a half, in a month, in a week. A ton of stuff can happen. Um, so that's that's how I would like to see them released. I would like them to see the release, not that we get like ten at once, or if you pull in an EMC, you get one, or if they have them in the high score challenge where only the the top two hundred will be able to uh, get them. Um, I don't want to see him released that way. I don't want to see him released behind a paywall. I don't want to see him released behind a uh, uh, a pay ladder or a paywall of some sort, like the high score challenge or a coliseum. I would like to see them released just in a simple quest, where you, they they could, if they wanted to be really really controlling, they could do the quest twice a month, like the jewel challenge, like one week the jewel challenge, one week the broom challenge, and then you just you know slowly get through I, I mean it's that that's it that if they want to control them if they don't want to give them to us like crazy just release them that way you know it's not the fairest way but I Square Enix please don't hide them behind the paywall please and if they hide them, if they put them at the end of Coliseum again only the top people are going to be able to get one or two or two, however they may they have and then what happens next month next month they can release them behind a paywall an emc or something or they can start releasing brooms like behind paywalls or something um so yeah for me personally i don't want to see mickey and brooms released that way do i think they're going to release them tonight in the coliseum it's possible i mean it's completely i, I completely believe one day we're going to get them um i just wonder if they're more interested in how they can get the most money out of releasing them or if they want to try and keep people interested in the game to be able to get money from pulse and that's what releasing it would be because if if the if mickey and brooms is at the end of this coliseum then people are going to pull so much more just to be able to get them get up high enough to get those mickey and brooms um so yeah um Personally, for me, like I said, I, I don't want to see them behind a paywall. Um, but they're a business. They're trying to make money. Unfortunately, that's that's where we see. But anyway, that's that's my little rant on the situation. Um, I like the Pegasus outfit. It looks pretty cool. Like I said, I'll probably do an update video in the morning when I wake up um, or something. I don't know. But guys, we've got more updates coming. It's the end of the month. It's been a good month. If you guys want to see where, I, well, if you guys want to see where I ended in the calls game, just go check the end, or please watch the, that entire video. Um, that almighty push was—I'm getting tired just thinking about it. That was—that was just wow. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I am Duj2. This has been a pre-update video, um, talking a little bit about what we're seeing. Coliseum is coming to an end. We will see tomorrow morning what comes up. It's very possible that we'll wake up to a lot of new updates. Um, it's very possible that we're going to wake up to a very huge update. So, uh, oh yeah, we might wait. Oh yeah, it's it's December too, so we're probably going to see a new new um, new decoration here in uh, in uh, I was going to say Traverse Town. What's it called again? Okay, why why am I thinking Sunlight Village? Why am I thinking Sunlight Village? Daybreak Town! Daybreak Town! Thank you! Yeah, for a second I was like, we're gonna be here in Tra- No, it's not Traverse Town. <laughs> it's Sunlight Village. From now on, it's Sunlight Village. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. And I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> see ya.